Welcome back. So where are we up to? Okay, um, so I've got the cores vacuumed in, as you can probably see. Uh, um, I was going to go down the road of using Gorilla Glue, PU Glue, thanks Alex, as Alex did, and uh, I, I just procrastinated and procrastinated, and I, I took some of my own advice and and uh, just stuck with what I knew at this point with, um, you know, rather than try and learn something new on, on this particular setup, then I thought, no, I'll just epoxy it in. And once I'd made that decision, it was done within hours. So, <clears throat> um, where I'm up to. So we've got, I've got it all back to level again. I've got my wire run here so I just used a, um, a soldering iron against a straight edge to, to melt the channel in the foam um, the straws I just put a drill bit in the middle of the straw and put a wrap of tape around it that goes together easy and that just fits in there and once I've got these webs in the vertical webs vertical grain webs I'll um, sort out the wire crossing there there's my washers that go in over the top of there to give the give the wing bolts support or the wing bolt holes a bit of burst resistance having that washer there uh, what else oh just for my own reference in future come forward 40 mil from the trailing edge at the end of the control surface and go parallel to the spar across to the other side but then project the drag spar down until they intersect and that will be a um, a bog web there and there I don't have a lot of success hot wiring along the flange there's too many nicks and stuff and it stops and starts and carries on with that will probably go together with PU I'll, I'll epoxy this in well I suppose I can just yeah, go around the outside go around the outside with the epoxy but PU across the phone core um, so I'm just so happy that I've made jigs for all this stuff that worked out really well these these I made up because there was a a hole if you like in the core material and, and carbon skin so there was actually a dip in for the core material there was, a, there was a dip there for the core material so then I made, I cut this out, which is just a bit of 0.8, I think, ply, um, for to give the servo mount some some stiffness, and I'll obviously bind that to the top skin. A little bit of a divot there, just to allow the straw on the other side there to fit. That's all set to go. These, um, I've only just finished putting the carbon caps in. And then I got some, um, just some raw cotton flock. With the epoxy still wet, I got some raw cotton flock and just sprinkled it over. Sprinkled it over and then and then pushed it, no, not pushed it in, but just sort of dusted it with, with a normal old banister brush. So once I, when I spread it out with a stick, um, one of these. So once I've got the dust in there, I just sort of spread it out with that very, very, uh, very light touch sort of stuff. I don't want to push it. I want I want the resin to to soak up the end of it, and then um, just lightly dusted it off with the with the banister brush, so that when I come back with some fresh epoxy, that'll bond really well. Um, I think that's about it. That's about the progress for now. Probably had more got more done in the last 24 hours. Having, once having um, vacuumed the sorry epoxied the, the cores in, uh, I can report that the vacuum switch works really well. Very happy with that. It got down to probably 12, 10 or 12 degrees overnight here, so Celsius. So um, uh, I ended up putting the molds in the hot box under vacuum. So. Um, that all worked a treat. Okay, anything else can wait? Over and out.